Hi guys, this is a solving simultaneous equations using graphs. So what, it, what we're asking you to do is to find the coordinates of the following intersections, which is these here, the intersection where they meet. Now, usually you wouldn't have a grid with the numbers on, but I have because I want to kind of do it backwards. So I'm asking you to prove the answer to me. So we're going to call this a proof question and a proof question is just how did we get it? You've got to get, tell me how we got the answer. Now the intersects on this for this question are minus two, minus seven. Okay, so that's our X. And that's our y. So we're saying that this is hitting on minus 2 here. So that's going to be minus 2. And that is minus 7, which looks perfect. So how did we get that answer? Let's work it out. So like any other simultaneous question, let's find x or y. So we're going to find x first. So we're going to do 4x plus one equals minus x minus nine. Let's solve it. So now we have five x over here because we've taken that over. We have minus nine minus one. Now that is minus 10. So there's nothing, you know, and nothing here that you don't know. So do I use your divide that five into minus 10 and that becomes minus two. So we found our X. Like we do with normal simultaneous equations, we are now going to find our Y. And by doing that, we're going to substitute our minus two into any of the original questions, um, equations. So I'm going to do y equals minus x minus 9. So now I'm going to substitute my x in here. So I've got now minus, now be careful here, minus 2 minus 9. Because some people forget about this minus that's here and they can get the answer completely wrong. So let's solve that. So y equals a minus and a minus is a plus. So now that is a plus two. Subtract nine. So y equals minus seven. So we have x equals minus two. And we have y equals minus 7. So we've just now proven that that is the correct answer. Minus 2 and minus 7. So that's how proof works. You're just working backwards from the answer and then prove how you got it. Let's do another one. So this one here. It intersects here and the answer to that one is minus 4, minus 16. So let's try it. We have 7x plus 12 minus 4. Let's get all our x is together so that now becomes 7x minus 3x and we have minus 4 left take that over minus 12 so we now have 4x equals minus 16 and then we divide our 4 Given us 
minus 4. So our x equals minus 4. Let's find y. I'm going to plug it in to 3x minus 4. So I'm going to do 3 times our x minus 4 equals minus 12 minus 4. So y equals minus 16. So once again, we have proved that our x is minus 4 and our y is minus 16. Brilliant. We'll do another one. So we've got a fraction in here. Why not? Uh, so we've got a half x minus 3 equals minus 2x plus 1. So let's get our x's together. So we now have 2.5x equals 4 because that has gone over. It's a negative. It now becomes a positive. So now we're going to divide it and our answer becomes 1. 0.6. I mean, you could have done a fraction, but it's just easier in decimals. And now I'm just going to plug it in to my minus 2. This one, sorry, that's the one I'm plugging it into. Plus 1. Which equals minus 2.2. So he's telling us that x is 1.6 and our y is minus 2.2. So this time, let's just have a quick look. Look, this is where the intersection is. So we've got x and we've got y. So is x look like it's on 1.6? That's 5. Yeah, I'd say that. 1.6 and minus 2.2 on the y. Yeah, that's perfect. So that works. And then finally, same again, we've got minus 4x plus 2 equals 2x plus 14. Put them all together and I'm going to do it a different way. It's a negative here, a bigger number. So I'm going to take it over here for a change. So let's do that as 6x plus 14. And we have 2. So now we have 6x. That becomes a negative. So we have 2. Negative 14. Plus 2. So we have left now. Minus 14 plus 2 is minus 12. And 6 divided by minus 12 is indeed minus 12. 2. Remember, you could have took it over the, the other way. I just chose to go work with the negatives first. And then let's plug it into whichever one you feel comfortable with. I'm going to go with the 2x. So it's going to be y equals 2 times minus 2 plus 14. And y equals minus 4 plus 14. So y equals 10. So our coordinates are minus 2 and 10. So let's have a little look. So yeah, well, this is where the intersection is. That's 10. So I'm happy with that. That's our y. And it's saying negative 2 on the x. This is x, by the way. I'm sure you already know that. But yeah, that's about perfect minus two. So there we have it. So I've shown you two ways to do it. One, by just looking at it and working it out this way. And two, by proving it where they give you the answer. And you have to work backwards. Um, yeah, it's a grade five question, I believe, level five. Uh, so it could be at the back of a foundation paper, beginning of a higher. Um, I hope you found that 
easy enough to follow. And if you head over to my website, um, the video for this is on there, but it's also got an extra worksheet. Got about 10 questions on there with full solutions, so you can have a go yourself and see how you get on. Bye-bye.